I remember looking up on the roof, kind of shocked that my son could have climbed to the top of our house in the first place. He was only like five or six years old or something. How the heck did he get up there? The next obvious question to come up was, how are we going to get him down? We had no ladder and no way to reach him. It looked like he'd made it up there by climbing this rickety old fence next to the side of our house that would easily support his little six-year-old weight, but would absolutely crumple under my much more uh, <clears throat> substantial adult size frame. The solution came to me in a flash. I smiled up at him confidently, not wanting to alarm him, and asked if he was ready to come down. When he said, yes, Dad, I opened up my arms and I said, I'm ready to go ahead and jump. I'll catch you. He paused only for a moment, looking around at where he was before he smiled too, opened up his arms, and jumped. Now, I want to focus not on my superb child catching skills, <laughs> or even on my questionable parenting judgment and having him do that in the first place, <laughs> but on what I think was going on in my son's brain just before he jumped into my arms. You see, I think he's making the same calculations that we all do when we're deciding whether or not to trust anyone, including God. The Bible says that we're to Trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not on our own understanding. But what does trust mean? Let's talk about it. There's a type of trust that trustologists call calculus-based trust, where we do the math, do some calculations, and then decide whether we're going to trust or not. There's just three questions in this calculation that you answer yes to if you trust and no if you don't. The three questions revolve around the words ability, integrity, and compassion. First question. Does God have the ability? Do you think that God can do what he says he'll do? Can he heal you? Can he get you out of the mess that you're in? Is he capable of rebuilding your broken relationships? That's the first question. Second question is, does God have the integrity? Will he honor his word to you and keep his promises? Essentially, this question is all about, does God walk the talk? Third and final question is, does God have the compassion? Simply, does God care for you? You right there, you watching this, listening to this. Does God care about you? All three questions have to be answered with a yes for trust to happen. Now, do you have to answer with a loud yes? Or can it be a lowercase uh, kind of squeaky, ooh, yes? I don't think it matters. If you're standing in a working elevator for the first time, for example, and you've never been there before, if you push the button, you're going to go up regardless of whether you push it with confidence and gusto, a lot of faith, or with the questioning, timid hand, it's going up. I'm thinking you just need faith the size of a mustard seed here. Hey, do the math. Check out your calculations. If you're finding that something in your life isn't adding up, if you have trust issues, go ahead and pray this prayer. God, I believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. You trust that God will catch you when you jump in faith.